So here's some help with recognizing significant figures. Now significant figures have to do with whether a digit in a number adds to the precision of the number or not. So the more precise of a measurement you have, the more significant figures you have. And the less precise of a measurement, the fewer significant figures you'll have. Whether a digit is significant or not ultimately boils down to whether it's a non-zero number or if it's a zero, where it's placed. So if it's a non-zero number, the digit is always going to be significant. It will always add to the precision of a measurement. If it's to a zero, it depends where it's placed. If it's placed to the left of non-zero numbers, then it's never significant. It's just a placeholder. If it's in between non-zero numbers, then it's always significant. It always adds to the precision of a measurement. And if it's to the right of a non-zero number, it depends. If there's a decimal, then the zero is significant. It adds to the precision of the measurement. And if there's no decimal, then it's not significant. It's just a placeholder. So let's practice using these different rules with numbers. Let's try to do these. The question asks, how many significant figures are in each of the numbers below? So let's start with 72.008 meters. So first, all of the non-zero numbers are always significant. These zeros are in between non-zero numbers. And if you're in between non-zero numbers, then you're always significant. So those two zeros are also significant. And there's a total of five significant figures in this number. OK, this number. First, all the non-zero numbers are always significant. Here, these zeros are to the left of non-zero numbers. So if it's zeros are to the left of non-zero numbers, they're never significant. So all of those zeros are not significant, and there are only two significant figures in this number. All right, all of the non-zero numbers are significant. Here, the zeros are to the right of non-zero numbers. And if the zeros are to the right, then it depends is if on whether there's a decimal point or not. Here, there's no decimal point. So if zeros are to the right of non-zero numbers and there's no decimal point, then they're not significant. So all of those zeros are not significant. There are only two significant figures in this number. All right, all of the non-zero numbers are significant. Now here we have uh, a couple zeros, but they're, they have different placements. So we're gonna think about them separately. First, the zero on the left. That's to the left of non-zero numbers. And zeros to the left of non-zero numbers are never significant. So that zero is not significant. The other zero is to the right of non-zero numbers. And if you're to the right, you have to ask yourself, is there a decimal point in this number? There is, to the left of the one. So if zeros are to the right of non-zero numbers and there's a decimal point, then the zero is significant. So here, you have it's to the right of non-zero numbers and you have a decimal point, so that's significant. And there are a total of four significant figures in this number. All the non-zero numbers are significant, so that four there is significant. Now these zeros are to the right of non-zero numbers, so they're to the right of that four. So we have to ask ourselves, is there a decimal point? And there is between the two zeros. So zeros to the right of non-zero numbers with a decimal point are significant. So those two zeros are significant. There's a total of three significant figures in this number. Similar question, how many significant figures are in each of the numbers below? All right, so all of the non-zero numbers, always significant. Here, we have multiple zeros, and they're in different places. They have different placements, so let's consider them separately. First, that zero is in between non-zero numbers, and zeros in between non-zero numbers are always significant. So that zero is significant. The other zero is to the right of non-zero numbers. So you have to ask yourself, is there a decimal point? And there is between the zero and the one. So zeros to the right of non-zero numbers that have a decimal point are significant. So that zero there is significant, and there's a total of four significant figures in that number. All right, all the non-zero numbers, significant. It's just that zero we have to worry about. That's in between non-zero numbers, and zeros in between non-zero numbers are always significant. 
So that zero is significant, and there's a total of six significant figures in that number. All right, all non-zero numbers, always significant. Here, the zeros are to the right of non-zero numbers, so you have to ask yourself, is there a decimal point? And there is. So zeros to the right of non-zero numbers with a decimal point are significant. So those two zeros are significant. There's a total of three significant figures in this number. Here, all the non-zero numbers are always significant, so those are significant. Now, we have multiple zeros, and they have different placements, so we'll think about them separately. First, that this zero is in between non-zero numbers, so that zeros in between non-zero numbers are always significant, so that zero is significant. The other zero is to the right of non-zero numbers. So we have to ask ourselves, is there a decimal point? And there is between the zero and the one. So zeros to the right of non-zero numbers with a decimal point are significant. That zero is significant, and there's a total of five significant figures in this number. Here, all non-zero numbers are significant. The zeros here are to the right of non-zero numbers, so we have to ask, is there a decimal place or a decimal point? There's not a decimal point, so zeros to the right of non-zero numbers that don't have a decimal point are not significant. And so none of those zeros are significant. There's only one significant figure in this number. Thank you for your attention.